Okay. Um, yes. Can I start? Mm -hmm. <coughs> Usually people say that Muslim women are oppressed because they wear hijab. They think that we don't drive in our countries and I usually got asked do, do women in Lebanon drive? Do women in Lebanon got the right to vote? And this is like a huge misconception. We do drive, we do vote, we go to parties. I think the biggest stereotype that I face is like just just like about my personality because I'm a very outgoing person and so I guess a lot of people are like taken back by that and so when I just go up to people and like start talking they're always like whoa so I think they just expect me to be a certain way or be really rigid with my like thoughts and ideas and things like that when I'm like nah it's chill bruh like you can do that like <laughs> people think that uh, Muslim women are a little bit weak and um, they are not to like they they don't have a right to uh, the education but uh, it's not true like for instance I'm doing my second master in here and my first master was in economics if I walk outside with wearing this I can see the uh, look toward me with a strange or they, do, they avoid me the stereotypes comes from media how Western media um, depict, depict Muslim women um, and how they focus on part of the words um, that are isolated, um, that have specific, maybe restricted or very conservative dogma instead of translating the image of the wider Muslim community which is very diverse in terms of ideology and costumes and traditions. The meaning of hijab for me is just um, try to do what, try to be close to God. That's it. Generally, people uh, think about like the Muslim women wear the scarf by force uh, their family or like it's it comes from culture um, and like but some of them yeah some of them right like some Muslim women really forced to wear the hijab by especially uh, their uh, patriarchal family but some of them and I think generally they choose the wearing hijab. My feelings means for me, um, it's a sign, first of all, that I'm a Muslim and it's a part of my identity. For me, this is modesty. I, it makes me feel more comfortable going out. Um, the scarf, to me, it's a, it's a command from Allah. It's, it's something to protect me. So I do it because I believe it, it is good for me. It's protecting me from things that I don't know what it might cause in the future. Instead of being judged by what I'm wearing, I want to be judged by what I say or what I believe or what I think. Hijab doesn't just mean the cloth that's on, like it doesn't just mean this cloth that's right here. It means everything, right? Like how I'm dressed, how I act with people, especially like men or even like people who are like you know, like in higher, who have a higher authority or things, something like that. So it's just the way I carry myself. So that's what I view hijab as. And for me, just because like, I like to be reminded every day when I wake up, it's just a good reminder of who I am, what I stand for and what I believe. Some Muslim woman doesn't wear hijab. Every Muslim woman has the different kind of style. We have different style in my family. So we are four sisters. Each one of us has different style of wearing the hijab. Me, I wear it that way to cover all my body because this is how I, um, I feel about it. I'm trying to make it uh, more colorful and more look fashionable maybe to match the people here so they don't feel any uh, afraid that if it's black or I'm covering myself with black I'm sure this will be negative effect on others so I also care about how people look at me. 
and at the same time I do not change it because I don't want to change it I feel good to do it and I am worshipping Allah by doing it so I wear a turban instead of a full hijab people think that this is because of a fashion uh, statement or something like this um, at some point of my life I wanted to take off the hijab I'm still not sure between if I want to keep it or take it off um, but for now this is what makes me feel comfortable with the, with the feeling um, it, it's, uh, it conform with my identity it, this is, it conform with my perception of modesty um, so it's, it has a lot of my own I put a lot of my individuality and identity into, into my choice of why I'm wearing the turban instead of the hijab of the, um, covering my neck. Um, my favorite thing about hijab is the, the questions, the funny questions I get from people. I love explaining like why I wear hijab to people. So um, do you like shower with that? Aren't you hot in that? I don't know, do you, do you guys shower with your clothes? No? There you go. But I do, I, I, I mean I always welcome questions. It's totally my choice what I am doing and I think in with that choice I'm happy. Well, if feminism do really means equality, equity between male, female, men, women, then yes, I'm an advocate for this equality. I describe myself um, as a feminist, uh, but sometimes it can be misunderstood. That some women, they are so trying to do the, the same thing what patriarchal system do. They try to put the woman more, uh, the higher rank than the man, uh, but I don't believe that kind of things. I think feminist is just the being equal, the men and women having the same rights, um, having <coughs> the same opportunities. My understanding of the definition of the fem feminist is that the woman should uh, ask for her right and fight for it to make sure that she can have all her right and uh, be more active in the society and she can be equal to men. A feminist is someone who fights for the rights of like, uh, for, for the equal rights of women, whether it is like, where it is like equal pay for the same job or something like that, or just being treated as an equal human being. That doesn't necessarily mean being treated like a man. I mean that in a very serious way. I, I believe that every woman uh, has the right to live a life that she wants. The thing about Western feminism that like I guess like a lot of like people like from other countries or just even people of color like feel is the fact that like there are certain like I, I just feel like there's certain issues that are like especially targeted by Western feminists. The idea of hijab and like how Muslim women are dressed, how they carry themselves or how they like or just want to be viewed can be very different than how Western women want to be viewed. So like the difference doesn't make it unequal. So yeah, I do consider myself as a feminist. I'm still trying to um, discover this discourse more. I'm a feminist and a Muslim feminist at that because yes, I do believe women deserve to be treated like how we're like we need to be treated better and especially in this day and age especially like he's still in this country like I don't think women of color or any woman like in like the workforce or anything like that is treated as equally as they can be so I don't see any like contradiction between uh, being Muslim being a feminist woman and uh, being Muslim We're literally the same. <laughs> Muslim women are really strong. They are really know what they are doing. Muslim women are very strong and kind. I mean, I, I, I mean, I've, I've had so many friends of different faiths and stuff, and like, or just people of no faith and stuff, and like, I mean, I don't think we talk anything 
immensely different than anyone else, right? Like, except, like, yeah, sure, we practice, like, we live our lives a little bit differently. Not all Muslim women are, are up, like, for instance, I am, like, Turkish. Uh, some Muslim women and I do not know the Arabic. But when it comes down to it, womanhood all the way, you know? Yeah, I mean, I like lipstick, so... They, they like the everything, like, just normal women like, like, uh, I like much watch the movies and uh, for instance I'm a fan of Star Wars and when people hear that I'm the fan of Star Wars they, they would be thinking oh wow really? We have the same we have the same space of freedom where to go and come to to um we have the freedom to for education. Not the freedom is actually a right a right to be educated, a right um to work, the right to um um, choose the person you want to live with because there's this stereotype of Muslims only getting married through arranged marriage and I got asked this question a lot about so tell me more about arranged marriage would you go for arranged marriage first of all there is no guarantee that I want to get married <laughs> um, but it's really dehumanizing for a person who stands in front of me, talk to me for four hours, um, discuss with me topics about politics, arts, and um, gender equality, and then think that I'm gonna go through the arranged marriage. Culture and religion get so skewed. It's just interesting to see how people like, like try to like muddle through these like certain issues that sometimes like they they seem to be at first glance religious issues but if you really dig deeper it's such a cultural issue some Muslim women because of their culture uh compressed by the society or um their family but not all of them at the time of the prophet i mean are you kidding me the prophet's like wife did like would you, like like, he, she was the one who proposed to the man. Like, there was this one Sahaba, like a woman, and she fought right in front of the Prophet. Like, she protected him. I, I love this story of the Queen of Sheba. Um, that's probably my favorite one, just because um, she, it's, she's an example of a good ruler in the entire book of the, in the holy book, the Quran, right? Um, not just like because she's a, it's like, yes, she's a woman, but she's also an amazing ruler. That's what the Quran like highlights. And so like, that's what I used to grow up like hearing about women. Like, yeah, like they did anything. Unfortunately in Saudi Arabia, we have limitation for women for the education to be uh, an engineer or a specific field that she wants to be. Islam gave the right to Muslim, but Muslim, not all of them, do not apply exactly what Islam gave the woman. Not everyone is lucky to have a good family to follow that, or not everyone will understand what Islam says about women. And uh, if they do, they will have a good life. They will have uh, the right treatment that God uh, wants for every woman. I think people shouldn't afraid to come close to us. They should close to us, they, they would like ask questions, try to know the Muslim woman better. Usually people come to me asking questions with all this um, ideas in their heads already, so they already put me in a box. Um, and I prefer that people come to me um, without this having these ideas, just like to learn. Um, and I've noticed that a lot of people don't want to, to don't want to ask any questions at all and this keep the barrier between, between me and the others, so... I think the Muslim women are just the women, like, like every woman in this world, just same, just the women.